Hello North Country soccer fans and welcome to the George Brendler Field here in Shazy as the JV game here today is between the Eagles of Shazy and then we're looking at the Beatman Town Eagles of Beatman Town. So this should be an interesting game here Shazy at the um, George Brendler Field playing on the big field normally the JVs play behind the stadium seating over there across the way from us and here's an opportunity here for the uh, Eagles and there's a shot by uh, Moak and it goes right into the goalie's hands and that would be uh, Nicholas Wilson so he'll work his way to the 18 Wilson will work his way to the 18 he gets a nice punt off and it will work its way into Shazy territory and I'm trying to call this game and uh, do a little commentating at the same time I have uh, Mr. Frank Cody coming up here to uh, take the camera for me but he has to run the score clock right now and uh, he will be up here as soon as he can and we're going to try to get this uh, figured out here and here's Beatman Town, there's a shot and it goes wide of the net and I do apologize if I'm not totally on here but we will get this straightened out here shortly when Mr. Cody gets up here into the press box Galen Trombley is the uh, coach for the Shazy boys and we have Eric Bell is the coach for Beatman Town and here comes Mr. Cody now and he couldn't come soon enough as far as I'm concerned so I will get back just to the mic and give the uh, camera to the uh, to the man himself, Mr. Frank Cody, and we have uh, the officiators for or the officials for tonight's game, or I should say, afternoon game, is Shazy's own Johnny Sachs, an alumni here of Eagle Country, and across the way right now we have Bill Bonville here in Shazy, and it's the Eagles of Shazy, and it's. Uh, Number nine, Cade Collins, sending it to the far side, trying to get it onto the feet of Brian McAfee. He tried to send it over to uh, Corey Ryan, but it's controlled by the Eagles. And even at the JV level, Shazy plays that passing game that uh, you see so well at the varsity level. It's number 24, Michael Parent, working his way up there. But defensively, a good job by Brantley Marion. He sends it up to midfield, but it goes to Eli Giroux. Giroux sends it up off Parent's head, and it's controlled by the Eagles. And it was number seven, it was um, Marion, knocks it out of bounds, so a throw in for Shazy, and quickly Eli Drew gets the ball down the line, comes out as it was kicked out by number 15, uh, Connor Ashline. Ball goes back into Ryan, Ryan cannot control it, and it's picked up by number 11, Kevin Coe. Coe with the ball, chipping it up over to number 10, Nicholas Ratliff. Now it's controlled by the Eagles. It is Cole Harvey. Sends it back up over to Moak. Moak switches fields onto the feet of Brian McAfee, but he loses it. And it's cleared in the Shazy territory. And it's picked up by uh, Dorn. And it is now chipped to the midfield, controlled by McAfee. He gives it up over to Harvey. Harvey pushes it all the way back. And it goes onto the feet of Dorn. He goes to the sweeper, which is uh, Giroux, and that would be uh, Cam Giroux. Sends it to his brother Eli. And Cade Collins trying to get it, and Mike Parent off his back of his foot, outside of his foot, gets it to Ryan. Ryan trying to make the move. Ryan with some speed, but it's taken away by number 15, Connor Ashline. Ryan pushes it back to Parent. Parent with the ball has some space. He will now serve it into the 18. It goes off the head of the defense, number 8, Kalilowski, but it's picked up by Cade Collins. Collins having a good battle there, going with number 10, Ratliff. Ratliff and Collins. Pushed on, uh, push call, uh, shove and call on uh, Cade Collins, so it'll be an opportunity here. It's in just about 10 yards shy of midfield, and it is Johnny Sachs making that call. We're at 36 minutes here in the first half. Left, no score early on, and a beautiful, beautiful day here at the George Brenler Field, and it's a real treat to call this JV game here, and I know it's a real treat for these players to get on the big field here, the George Brenler Field, and uh, it's nice to catch up, capture it on film. I did tell uh, Coach Bell that it would be on film and to contact Hometown Cable after and be able to share this with the boys. Or you can go to hometowncablenetwork.com and you can kind of catch it online there. It's never as good as the full version CD that Mr. Calvin Castine can produce for you. So it's a corner kick here for the... Uh, the Eagles of Beatman Town, it's Kenny Mabry. He'll take the corner kick. And uh, in net for the uh, the Eagles is, uh, help me out here. It is Peyton. Peyton, I'm trying to see him here on this. 
Peyton Hilborn. Peyton, Peyton. Right, yeah, I know it's Peyton, but oh, here he is. Okay, so he's got him as a number 15. So Peyton Hilborn is the goalie here for uh, Shea Z. And uh, there's a nice shot into the ball. Oh, nice play by the goalie, uh, Peyton Hilborn. And uh, he'll work his way to the 18. And there's the punt. Ryan trying to control it gets by him. And it's controlled by number 15. It is Connor Ashline. And what I'll say, Frank, is when you get rosters on two teams that you really don't know the players that well, it makes it a little more difficult to try to call the game. But I'll get to, I mean, I know the boys. I just got to get used to their positions out there. And uh, it is um, Connor Morris sending it through, trying to get Ryan, trying to split the defense. But a good job defensively here by the Eagles. And it's sent up here, and it was uh, sent out by Keller Kyle Lasky. And there's the shot by Parent. And it will go into the hands of Nicholas Wilson. So Wilson will work his way down to the 18. And nice big booming punt into the defensive end of Shea Z. Ball headed by uh, Kenny Reagan to the far side. But it goes just outside the on Russian offensive player for the, the Eagles. And it is uh, number 11. That would have been Kevin Coe. So a throw in for Shea Z. The ball comes in. Controlled by Beatmantown. Beatmantown pushes it to the open space. And it's knocked away. And it got controlled by the Eagles just outside the 18, trying to get a shot off. And nice defensive play uh, by number four, Noah Moak. And a good job from the uh, stopper, Kate Collins, coming over to thwart that offensive opportunity there for the Eagles of Beatmantown. So we have a red throw in here for uh, Beatmantown as Bill Bonville on the far side, Johnny Sachs here on the near side. I'm Joey Trombley, and we have Frank Cody on the camera here tonight. Actually, I'll be doing double duty here on the 13th of October. Actually, it's Friday the 13th. I just thought of that. And uh, of October, and at 6 o'clock, the boys, the varsity boys, are playing uh, Willsboro. And uh, Sean Rogers will be on the camera there. Calvin has other programs he's doing right now. He'll be at Northeastern actually uh, for the uh, boys game tonight. Uh, it's PHS at Northeastern. That'll be a big game. Is that in Cougar Country or at Hornet, the Hornets Nest? I'm not sure. Mr. Cody said he's not sure, but we know that's the game Calvin will be covering. And I'm sure the voice of the Cougars, Joe Southwick, will be on the mic for that game. And it is Noah Moak with a, a nice a big kick. It goes off the head of Nicholas Ratliff, and it's controlled by Kevin Coe. Coe sends it back. He maintains it, sends it all the way back defensively to Dylan Duffina. Duffina chips it up onto the feet of Kevin uh, Kenny Mabry, but a nice play by uh, Coe Harvey, taking the ball away, going to midfield, trying to find Ryan, and it's knocked away by Connor Ashline. Over the head, and now here come the Beatman Town Eagles. It is Mabry trying to get a shot off goes off of the uh, the body of uh, Dorn and it would be Cameron Dorn. I'm so used to saying Dylan here, so it's his brother Cameron. So there's a foul on the Beatman Town Eagle, so it's, it's a battle of Eagle country here. Shazy and Beatman Town only six miles apart between these two towns and but the Eagles of Beatman Town have come here and have invaded the George Bremler Field here on this beautiful, beautiful day. I just can't say enough of it for the 13th of October. On a, just a, there's no wind in the air. It's probably in the mid 60s, and uh, I'm sure it will cool down once the sun goes down for tonight's game. But right now we'll take it while we have it. And there's the kick um, by number. Number 14, that'd be Cordell Costin. And it's cleared out by Cameron Doran. Sends it up to the far side. Back there for Beatman Town is Dylan Duffina. And uh, nice, good shield by uh, Cade Collins, but it's controlled by the Beatman Town Eagles. And they're trying to get a shot off. And it's a weak shot. It'll work its way off the end line. And it will be a goal kick here for Shea Z. Check, or checking in for Shea Z is Jordan LaPointe, number 21, the freshman coming in for Cameron Dorn. So we've played approximately 10 minutes here in the first half here on the 13th of October between Beatman Town and Shea Z. We still have no score. Uh, I'd say the slight edge of play has favored Beatman Town here in the first 10 minutes. 
And the ball is working its way toward midfield, and it's cleared up by number 13, Dylan Duffinoff. Off the head of Reagan, trying to get it onto the feet of Keller Kalilowski. But it goes back and controlled by the Eagles. Morris trying to make a move by Ratliff. It's Morris. As Ryan sends it up, Ryan will break toward the goalie, but just too far ahead. And Nicholas Wilson comes off the line and will get to that ball first. And there's the there's the punt by Wilson. And uh, as we're sitting here, we see the bus of Willsboro has gotten here rather early for the 6 o'clock game. And Ryan looking to break through, but a good job defensively from Darren Nephew. He clears it off to the uh, far side, and it's LaPointe. Sends it up toward the end line. Nobody there for Shazy. It will stop, so uh, Duffinow will have to play it. He chips it up, gets it onto the feet of Mabry. Mabry being challenged by Harvey. Gets it up over to Collins. Collins touches it up over to Morris. Morris rips off a shot, goes off the defense, and it comes over to Parent. Michael Parent has a heart strong shot. Parent trying to get a shot off, but a good job defensively by the Eagles. That would have been uh, Brantley Marion did a nice job getting to the feet of Mabry. And that's a foul. Johnny Sachs calls a foul on the Eagles of Beatman Town. So Shazy will get the kick here. And it is Moak will take the kick here for Shazy. And uh, just inside just inside the Beatman Town territory. And there's the uh, the big booming kick. Ryan will try to chase it down, but it's knocked back. Parents there for Shazy. Parent. It goes out of bounds. So it'll be a throw in for Shazy. Parent just shielded it out of bounds. And it is uh, Moak heads it up toward the 18. Morris trying to battle for the ball as well as Cade Collins. So defensively, the Eagles are up there. But on the transition, it is the Beatman Town Eagles. It's Ratliff. Goes to the open space. Hustling hard there is Kowalowski. But a nice job by um, Cam Drew. Sends it back toward the midfield. Nice play by Ratliff. Ratliff gets by Parent. Ratliff has some space, sends it to the middle of the field onto Marion. Marion back to Ratliff, and it's cleared out by Moak, trying to control by Connors, uh, Connor Morris, but it gets by him, sent back just outside the box. And you got to watch out for number one, Reagan. He was looking to load up, but a good defensive job here, Moak and Reagan. And there's the kick uh, off to the side by number six, Nephew. And there would be a trip on McAfee, I would think. It is, so a foul on the Shazy Eagles, and we got a kick here for the Beatman Town Eagles. And I hope there's more Willsboro Warriors than that. Uh, Frank, I see about seven, eight of them. So I'm assuming there's more on the bus. <laughs> so the ball is right at midfield, so it'll be a kick here for the, the Beatman Town Eagles. And a nice booming kick to the box, but LaPointe does a nice job heading it out, trying to find McAfee, but it is Coe with the ball. Coe knocks it out of bounds, so throw in for Shazy. Jordan LaPointe will look to take that throw in here for the Eagles on the far sideline. We are at 26-43. We still have no score here in Shazy between this JV uh, contest between Beatman Town and Shazy at the George Brendler Field. Connor Morris trying to get it up, but it's kicked out by the defense of Beatman Town. LaPointe's there, has it up, trying to find McAfee. And it is Maybury into the play. Kick to the open space, and it goes out to the feet of Ratliff. Ratliff has it knocked away. Shady trying to get into their control game. Connor Morris, he has Ryan. Ryan's on to the outside. It's Morris. Ryan Morris now chips it up, trying to find um, Ryan. Ryan does a nice job. Ryan trying to cut it in. And coming back defensively was Duffina, and it goes on to the uh, hands of Eric Bell. So Bell will work his way to the 18, and he gets a punt just shy of midfield off the head of Collins. Comes to the near side, Giroux is there, and it is uh, Eli. Giroux goes off his head, so a throw in. Marion with the throw in, going down the line, trying to find Kowalowski. But back there is Eli Giroux, and he just kicks it out. So it'll be a throw in here. The defense of Shazy can settle in here as we have Brantley Marion with the throw in. And we have uh, Josh McCauley ready to check in here for the Eagles. Ball sent back over to Mabry. Mabry, nice give and go, trying to find the feet of Kowalowski, but a good job defensively from Giroux. Sends it up. Ryan is there. Ryan trying to keep it in. And it goes off the line. So a throw in here for Beatman Town. And it is Connor Ashline will take the throw in here for Beatman Town. 
with 25 minutes to go here. We played 15 minutes in the first half. We have no scorer in this JV contest between Beatman Town and Shay Z. Throw comes in off the head of uh, Lee, or it was actually Kowalowski, and controlled by Beatman Town. Sent up on to Mabry's foot. Maybe trying to turn around, but Ryan is there. And it is Ryan going for the ball. Ryan working his way. Cuts it onto the inside. One times it up over to Collins. Collins gives it up over to uh, number 13. Uh, that would have been Cole Harvey. Harvey tried to get it over to McAfee. And it goes off of McAfee. So we have some substitutions. We have McCauley checking in here for Shay Z. And we have Bryce Lee coming in for Beatman Town. It is Parent coming out for Shay Z. And coming out for the Beatman Town Eagles is Connor Ashline. So we have a throw in for Beatman Town. And we have 24.05 to go. And. Nice play by Moke. He gets it up over to Giroux. Cam Giroux sends it up onto the feet of McAfee. McAfee trying to find Morris, but it's intercepted by Mabry. Mabry's been all over the field here for Beatman Town. Then it was out of bounds. Bonville said it was out, so it's a throw in for Beatman Town. Nice throw in. Goes off of the body of uh, Ratliff. Goes out of bounds, so a throw in here for Shay Z. And it's Jordan LaPointe for Shay Z. Far sideline taking the throw in here for the Eagles. Sends it in. It goes off of the uh, head of Ratliff. Back to LaPointe. LaPointe surveys the situation. Now he'll chip it up. He's trying to find McCauley. McCauley trying to get through there. Ryan's there for Shay Z on the outside. It is Ryan. Corey Ryan sends it back over to Cape Collins. Collins sends it back up over to Ryan. Ryan, Ryan with the ball, working his way to the, cuts it on the inside to the 18. Ryan on the outside of his foot. It will go to Wilson, but a right idea by Corey Ryan, but just couldn't get the ball across the way he wanted it to. So with 22.50 to go, it is Wilson with the punt. A beautiful punt well into Shay Z territory. Back there is uh, Cam Giroux for Shay Z. He chips it up over to Brian McAfee. McAfee with the ball. Looking in the inside, sends it up, trying to, he gets on the foot to Morris. Morris gets it back to McAfee. But a good job defensively by the uh, Beatman Town Eagles. Dylan Duffinoff sends it up onto the foot of Mabry. Mabry sends it to the open space, picked up by LaPointe. Quickly he gets up over to Cape Collins. Collins sends it to the near side onto the feet of Eli Giroux. Giroux sending it up, trying to find McCauley. McCauley is past the defense. McCauley working his way in. McCauley sends it across. McCauley trying to find... Morris, Morris looking to finish, but it's cleared out. Good job defensively by Beatman Town to thwart that offensive surge by the Jay-Z Eagles. And nice play by uh, Corey Ryan to come back here. And it's nice play. It is number eight, uh, Cam Drew, but he has it knocked away. And they're trying to get by the defense. Moak is there. Smart play by Moak going to the outside, getting onto the feet of Drew. Drew being challenged by uh, Keller Kowalowski. So it's a throw in here. For Beatman Town, but a good job started with Moke on the going back defensively to push it to the outside. Marion will give the ball up over to Darren Nephew. Nephew will take the throw in here for the Beatman Town Eagles. Here comes the throw in. It goes off of the body of Cam Giroux, and it will be a very deep throw in for Beatman Town, about as far into the Chasey territory as you can go without it being a corner kick. So a very deep throw in here for the Beatman Town Eagles. And here it goes. Nice throw inside the box. And it's knocked out of bound, or knocked out of the 18 I should say. Picked up by Nephew. Nephew gets by one player. Trying to get by the second one, but it will work its way off the end line. So a goal kick here for Shazy. Some good uh, pressure by the Beatman Town Eagles. Um, Connor Ashline checking into the game. Coming out of the game is uh, Dylan Duffina. So we are halfway through the first half. We have no score here in Shazy. And there's the kick by Moak. It goes off the head of Marion. Marion gives it up over to Reagan. Knocked out by Moak. And Collins goes to the open field, but it's Mabry there for Beatman Town. And he takes down uh, McAfee. 
So it was uh, Brian McAfee going down. And it looks like Noah, uh, Noah Moak will take the kick here. And this defense of uh, Shazy has done a really, really good job this year defensively as they're playing all the bigger schools in the CVAC. They are not playing NVAC. Or, well, Division two teams, I guess you could say. They're playing all the CVAC teams, and they have done quite well this year. Uh, their two setbacks have been uh, one to PHS, two to nothing. It was a game that Shazy had uh, many chances in the first half against the Hornets. Couldn't find the back of the net. And there's a through ball, and there's some speed on McCauley. But back there, and the goalie can't pick it up when it's kicked back to him. So wisely, uh, Nicholas Wilson sends it up to the midfield. But Shazy ended up losing that game 2-0. It could have went either way, but advantage to the Hornets. And then the, uh, their second game they lost this year, they went down to Cougar Country. And it was a big matchup between these two schools. It was Shazy and uh, Northeastern Clinton. A big uh, crowd there for a JV game on a Saturday uh, afternoon. And it was a very entertaining game. The Cougars of Northeastern won that game 3-1. But other than those two setbacks, Shazy has done very well. They haven't lost other than those two games. And uh, here comes Beatman Town. This is a good opportunity, but nice play by Giroux. And it was the sandwich of the Giroux brothers, Cam and Eli, to clear that one out. Goes on to the feet of McCauley. McCauley trying to go back to Collins, but a good job defensively by Ratliff. Ratliff has some space, but McCauley comes up there. And it's McCauley giving Ratliff uh, some, some pressure. And McCauley trying to get the ball from Ratliff. And Ratliff will clear it up toward midfield onto the feet of Mabry. Mabry has some space. He'll take it into Shazy territory. It's Mabry working his way to the middle of the field. He chips it up, knocked away by Moak, picked up by Collins. Collins has space. He'll work his way to midfield. He switches field, trying to find McAfee, but it's Ashline running back there hard for the beaten town defense. Ball headed back to Moak. He sends it up to the open space. Morris trying to control, knocked away, picked up by Harvey. Harvey. Switching fields, trying to find Ryan. Ryan going back there along with McCauley. But a good job by number nine, Bryce Lee. Lee, it is McCauley. Ryan with the ball. He sends it across. And it's cleared out of the 18, picked up by Mabry. He one-times it up over to Ratliff. Ratliff gets by Moke, gets it onto the feet of Reagan. Reagan trying to get by Giroux. Giroux does a nice job stuffing him and coming out to help out is Jordan LaPointe. Back to midfield, controlled by number seven, Marion. He loses it, gives it up over to Cade Collins, over to Mor Morris. Connor Morris gives it up over to McCauley, back to Morris, but a little too far ahead of him, cleared out by Kowalowski onto the feet of Marion. Marion with the ball, sends it into Shazy territory, and it's pushed up trying to find the feet of Reagan. Stepping up over for Shazy is number eight, Cam Giroux. Giroux sends it up to midfield trying to find McAfee, McAfee with the ball being guarded by Coe. He sends it up, trying to find Morris, trying to get Morris into the game offensively, but a good job with Beatman Town back there. And it's cleared out, and it goes past Moak, but back there defensively is Giroux. It is Cam Giroux. He sends it up over to LaPointe. LaPointe will now chip it up into Beatman Town territory, and it is Connor. Connor Morris with the ball. Chipping it up, trying to get over the head of number one, and it is McCauley was offsides. So they're looking for some substitutions here. With 16.23 to go, we have no score. And if their shot clock is true to form, Shazy has one shot on net, and Beatman Town has zero. So as you can see, a lot of midfield play here, not a lot of offensive opportunities for either team. And it is controlled by the Eagles. It's Mabry. Sends it to the near side to Marion. Marion just chips it up here, but it's Giroux. It is Cam Giroux with the ball. He sends it up, finds Collins. Collins does a nice job cutting it to the inside. Collins has space, gives it up over to Harvey. Harvey now push it up, trying to find Morris. Morris trying to get some speed, some nice speed. Morris will look to break in. Morris has the speed. Morris gets the shot off. He rims the post as Wilson came out to uh, cut the angle off. And nice play by Connor Morris with a lot of speed there for Shazy, and they've been containing him pretty well here the first half. He had the opportunity, broke the defense, but the goalie is, the uh, goalpost is uh, Connor Wilson's, or Nicholas Wilson's best friend here in the first half as the Beatman Town Eagles dodge a bullet. Now here comes on the counterattack. Here comes Beatman Town, and a good job here by the defense. 
And beat Metallon trying to get a shot off. Good play by Giroux getting up over to Collins. He gives it up over to Ryan. Ryan on the near side. It is Ryan. Ryan has space. Ryan has space. It's Ryan. Ryan does a nice job getting by number 10 Ratliff. He pushes it up over to Collins. Collins now switches fields over to McAfee. He chips it back to the middle of the field trying to find uh, Corey Ryan. Ryan with the ball loses it. And they're actually trying to get over to McCulley. Moat gives it up over to Collins. Shazy controlling the midfield. Oh, trying to get up over to uh, Harvey, but it's intercepted by Ratliff. Ratliff with the ball. Working his way up into Shazy territory. He'll get by LaPointe, but LaPointe will shield it from going out of bounds. We have substitutions going in here. So we have Troy Boris and Dylan Duffin going in. And for Shazy, we have Michael Parent. And we have Nathan Trombley going into the game. Coming out for Beatontown is Bryce Lee. Coming out for Shazy is Cole Harvey and uh, Brian McAfee. And also coming out for Beatontown is Keller Kowalowski. So 14.04 to go. We have no score here on the 13th of October, 2013. I'm Joey Trombley. On the camera, you may think it's Calvin Cassidy himself. And it's not. It's Mr. Frank Harvey. Or Frank Harvey. <laughs> Jeez, my God. Uh, sorry about that, Frank. The uh, It's Mr. Frank Cody is what I meant to say. And uh, it's Ryan with the ball, pushes it back up over to Giroux. Sends it on to the feet of McCauley. McCauley has it knocked away by Duffina. Throw in here for Shazy. And Giroux will look for it. It is Eli Giroux with the throw in. He gets it in off the head of uh, McCauley, trying to find uh, Morris. And Parent knocks it away, picked up by number 10, Ratliff. Collins gets it up over to Ryan. Ryan trying to get it up over to McCauley, but a good job defensively by Duffina to get his foot on it. So a throw in here for Shazy at the 13.04 mark. And we have a nice little crowd here for a JV game here on a Friday afternoon. It was started at 4. So we're approximately 20 of 5 right now. And the ball works its way out of bounds. So a throw in, deep throw in for Shazy. And Coach Trombley's calling for Noah Moak to take that throw in. And the throw in goes into the box. And it's sent across. And it is. Oh, what a shot. It was uh, Morris got the shot off, and actually uh, Wilson was somewhat screened on that and did a beautiful job making that save. It's off the head of LaPointe, and Peyton's there. He No problems. Peyton Hilborn comes off the line that went off the head of LaPointe, and he gives a nice booming kick right just shy of midfield. Parent controlling, pushing it back over to Giroux. Comes to the near side to his brother, Eli. Eli gives it up over to Michael Parent. Parent chips it up, controlled by Morris. By Morris. Sends it through, trying to find McCauley, and they're going to call him on the offsides. And um, right idea, but Mr. Johnny Sachs was right on that line. He was all over it, and it wasn't offsides on the Eagles, but the right idea for Shazy Eagles. But McCauley was just a little anxious to get through there. And there's the... Uh, the kick up into Shazy territory. Giroux comes to the near sideline. McCauley has the ball. Now trying to find Ryan, uh, but it's now controlled by uh, Marion. Marion sends it up onto the feet of Reagan, pushes it back onto Ratliff. Ratliff gets it up. So there's some nice pass in here by the Beatman Town Eagles. It is Giroux trying to get that ball away from Reagan, but Reagan on the outside of his foot goes to the near side, gets it onto the feet of Marion. It is Reagan. Pushing it back. Shazy, or Beatman Town doing a good job controlling the midfield. And it's now Beatman Town now controlling the midfield. Pushed up and it's Drew. Cam Drew sends it back. And it's number uh, 14, uh, Costin, with the ball. Costin getting the shot off. Good job by Moak to stop that from getting to the goalie. Back to midfield. It'll be a throw in here for Beatman Town. And we have Keller Kowalowski coming into the game here for Beatman Town. Coming out of the game is Keenan Regan, uh, who is doing some good things out there for Beatman Town. He's done a good job here in the first half for the uh, the red and white of Beatman Town. Throwing comes in, and back there is Lapointe. Lapointe looking to switch fields, but it goes controlled by Marion. 
but a good job by Drew to contain him. And Marion comes back. We'll look to regroup here. And there is Drew, does a good job. He has it knocked away. Ryan trying to get to the ball. Nice play by Corey Ryan. Corey Ryan sending it up, trying to get that breakaway, trying to find uh, Connor Morris. Far side, and it is picked up by number 16, Nathan Trombley in the game. Nathan Trombley with some good speed and some nice moves. Makes a nice move there. Pushing it back up over to Collins. Collins chipping it up. And off his line is Nicholas Wilson. And as Corey Ryan was coming in on the weak side, a nice play by Wilson to, to get that ball. And he punts it from the 18, and he has a booming punt for a JV goalie deep into Shazy territory. Headed out by Moak, but it's controlled by Beatmantown. It is Giroux, Eli Giroux, trying to get to the ball, but a nice job by Reagan. He gives it up over to Mabry. Mabry has it knocked away. Collins and Mabry collide with the ball, uh, hit the ball at the same time, I should say. And it's controlled by the Shazy. Over the head of uh, Morris, picked up by number six, Nephew. Nephew sending it up. Nobody picking it up there for either team, but controlled by Parent. Parent trying to find McCauley. But a good job by Duffina. McCauley trying to shield it. Ryan picks it up. Ryan's got some space. He sends it across trying to find Morris. And it's cleared out by number six, Nephew. So a throw in for Shazy with 8.47 to go here in the first half. We have no score. And only one shot on net this whole game here, and it's Shazy. One shot on Beatman Town, and I guess the other one, I don't know if you really call it a shot, uh, the one that um, Wilson just got to, and it's cleared out, so a throw in for Shazy. So 8.25 to go. The clock is ticking down here in the first half, and it is Moak will come in from the stopper position, or I should say the sweeper position to take the throw in here for Shazy. Moak with the throw in. It goes in the box, it lands on the ground, it's pulled out, and Drew chipping it up. Collins trying to get his head on it. Collins trying to battle for it, and there's a bunch of Beatmantown defenders. They clear it out, nice job by the defense of Beatmantown. And Collins pushes it back to Parent. Parent gives it up over to Ryan. Ryan trying to control. It's Ryan has it knocked away by uh, Marion. Marion and Ryan. And nice play by Ryan to disrupt that pass. Collins has it knocked away. On to the feet of Mabry. And a nice job by Parent. So it goes back to Collins. Collins far side. On to Trombley. Trombley trying to save it from going out. He does a nice job. Nope. He's out. So we have number nine, uh, Keenan Regan, checking back into the game as well as Bryce Lee. 7.21 to go here in the first half. Coming out is number two, Troy Boris. And there's got to be another one coming from way across the field. We have, it looks like, number 11, Kevin Coe, coming out for Beatman Town. And that would be a dangerous play. And Bonville was right there. So Moke will come in again from the... Uh, Sweeper position, White, stay on. and Come he'll on. take the kick here, and it's a good opportunity stay here for Shazy with 6:40 to go. Again, we have no score here. If you're just joining us here for this JV matchup between Beatman Town and Shazy, there's a nice booming kick by Moak. It lands, and it's Duffin. I guess his foot on it. Parent works his way in, and it's cleared out. So good job by the Beatman Town Eagles defensively, McCulley with the ball, trying to cut through, no call, and it's controlled here by Beatman Town, it's Ratliff. He sends it up, intercepted by Parent. Parent trying to find Ryan. Ryan giving it up over to McCauley. McCauley sending it in, and it's cleared out by the defense. Kind of picked that number up, and it comes to the near side, and it's Ratliff. Ratliff with the ball, Parent hustling back there for Shazy. It's Ratliff now with some space. It's Ratliff looking to get a shot off. And it is cleared out by the defense. And there's the shot by number nine, Lee. And that was a big high shot. And Coach Bell wanted to know if it went through the uprights. <laughs> the ball was kicked so high. He should play for the Giants. They could use some points as they go 0 and 6. <laughs> so we have five. <laughs> <laughs> the coaches are talking. They've never seen that before. Into the tree, off the tree, back to the net. 
onto the field. It almost looks like one of those uh, Larry Bird's and Magic Johnson commercials they used to have. Or what was it, Michael Jordan, I think. Yeah, Is call, Jordan? calling their shots. Yeah, calling their shots. Off the ceiling, yep. off the back <laughs> And Morris. Oh, that was a good foul. If you're a Beatman Town fan, that was a nice foul on Duffina. Because if Morris would have broke through there, you saw what he could do earlier. I mean, he just missed hitting that post uh, earlier in the game. If he'd have got through, there was a better than 50-50 chance he would have found the back of the net. So a good foul on the Eagles of Beatman Town. Michael Parent has a nice hard shot. He may chip it up or he may try to go top shelf. We'll find out here in a second. He'll chip it up. They're going to try to get a play in there. It goes off uh, over the head of Collins. So with 4.27 to go, Michael Parent has a strong leg, and sometimes it's not bad with the sun in the eye of the goalie to try to go top shelf. You never know, but he tried to do a, a set play, and that's not bad either. It just didn't work that time. And it is Wilson. Off the head of Parent. That was a, a booming header. Right back to Wilson. No problems there. And my guess is they are not keeping track of the shots on net because it's still one nothing. So I know I, there's been more shots than that for both teams. And it is Jordan LaPointe on the far side just trying to shield the ball. He's being challenged. And it's going to be a, a corner kick. So nice play by Beatman Town. They take it off of LaPointe with 3.35 to go. And it is number 11, Kevin Coe, back into the game here. He's going to look to take that corner kick. So it is Coe. Short kick. Pushing it back. And nice play. It is Cade Collins. Did a nice job there defensively. And Parent chipping it up. Duffin is back there for Beatman Town. And it goes off of McCulley. He can't keep it in, so it'll be a throw in deep in their own territory for the Eagles of Beatman Town. We're approaching the 243 mark. And it will be Duffin taking the throw in here for Beatman Town. Ball comes in off the head of Marion to Coe. Coe back to Marion. Marion gets by uh, Ryan. Parents back there trying to chip it up, but a good job by Marion. Ball at midfield, and it's pushed back onto the uh, to Ratliff. Ratliff comes to the near side, up over to Marion. Marion in Shazy territory. It's Marion being guarded by Parent, but Marion's got some room. Now cuts it to the inside. Marion chips it up to the outside, and nice play by Cade Collins. And there's the shot, and it is Hillborn is there, as it was a kind of a funny knuckleball shot by Ratliff. But Peyton does a nice job there for Peyton Hillborn with his punt with a minute 45 to go. Morris trying to control. It is Morris with the ball, D Duffinaugh. It will go off of Morris. It'll be a throw in here for Beatman Town with a minute 33 to go. Checking into the game is Mabry. Mabry comes in. Ratliff comes off. Duffinaw throw in. Trying to find Mabry who just came to the game, but Parent trying to control. Parent chipping it up. And it is controlled by Beatman Town. Now it's kind of picked up by uh, Duffinaw. Ryan sends it to the middle of the box. And coming off his line was Wilson, and a good thing because Trombley was coming in hard. That was Nathan Trombley. So we have a minute four to go here in the half. Short punt controlled by Marion. Marion being guarded by Ryan. Ryan does a nice job. And it is Red pushing away on Ryan. So good job by Ryan. Foul called on Marion. So 46 seconds to go. And Moat kicks it out of bounds. So it's a throw in here for Beaton Town. 31 seconds to go. There seems to be no urgency from either team here. Looks like they're willing to go into halftime with no score. And 23 seconds to go. And he comes back up over to Duffinaugh. Duffinaugh sends it up over to Mabry. 
near side on to Marion. Out of bounds, so throw in for Shay Z as we approach the 10 second mark. Nine, eight, and it's seven, Giroux. Six, Ryan heads five, it up. Four, Mo, eight, nice job by Mo getting up over to Collins. So the first half will officially go in the books as a tie here 0 0 between Beatman Town and Shay Z. I hope so. He doesn't know me yet. Are we on? Oh, are we on? We're running now. All right. See, we got a couple uh, inexperienced people up here. It's Frank and I, and uh, we're just shooting the breeze. And he turns the camera on. I didn't realize he did. So we're ready to start the second half here. And Johnny Sachs says, let's start the game. So now, actually, I'd give the advantage to Beatman Town, Frank, because the sun's now in our goalie's eyes. And uh, the Eagles only had one really good chance, and that was Connor Morris breaking through and hitting the goal post. But there were really no high shots on their goalie uh, with that sun in your eyes. And here comes uh, Reagan, who had a good first half. Looking to try to get that shot off. This is dangerous. It comes across, and what a chance. And uh, Brantley Marion would love to have that opportunity back. He was right there, but went wide, and I think he would have scored. Um, it was a nice play, and it, it all started out with uh, Reagan doing a nice job up getting the ball over, but it is Moak taking the kick here for Shay Z, and it falls short of midfield. Far side is Ryan. Corey Ryan takes it off number 10. Uh, Ratliff, he pushes it back. Chipped to midfield. Collins is there, chipping it up, trying to find uh, Morris. And uh, pushed back, and we actually have a, uh, a game. So we have a modified game. That's why Willsboro's here so early on, on the far side. Yeah, because that just didn't make any sense. I didn't see their players walk across the field, though. So they must have came uh, parked up front and then dropped off their modified team and came around the back. Must be, yeah. So we have a throw in here for uh, Beatman Town. And they're going to send up their stopper. It looks to be uh, Kowalowski. I think it's number eight far, far sideline for the throw in. Deep throw in. And it is cleared out by Giroux, and that would have been Cam Giroux. And Collins sends it up, and running back there is Duffin. Duffin had a very strong first half for the Eagles for Beatman Town defensively, and here comes Collins. McAfee's wide open here on the near side, but Collins is way over on the far side being challenged by uh, number 15, Connor Ashline. But nice play, sends it across. There's McAfee. McAfee gets the shot off wide, it goes wide of the net. But nice job by Brian McAfee to play his position. He stayed wide, and you never know when that ball is going to get out there. And it was a nice job by Collins to send it across. McAfee tried to uh, get the shot off quickly. Wasn't the uh, amount of uh, speed he wanted on that shot, but it was a good effort. Just goes wide of the net. Ball at the middle of the field, and it's cleared up toward midfield. It's Giroux, and it is uh, Cam Giroux. Sends it up to the near side, up to Cameron Doran. He pushes it back to Giroux. Goes off of Giroux, and nice uh, play by uh, uh, Eli. Eli comes over to help his brother out, and it's picked up by Collins. Collins battling for that ball. He wins that battle. He wins it over Ratliff. He sends it up. It goes off the back of Ashline. So a throw in for Shazy in the far sideline as we have Collins. Deep throw in, trying to find Morris. Connor Morris and it will be shielded out and a nice job by the Eagle defense and it looked like it was uh, number f trying to get that number out there 14 uh, Cordell Costin did a nice job and there's the kick it goes off of Mabry's foot Avery goes to the outside. Parent is there defensively, but it's Marion with the ball being guarded by Parent. Marion has it knocked away by Parent trying to find Ryan. Ryan battling. He has it knocked over. He gets it up over to uh, Morris. Morris. Mabry comes in from behind. It's Morris outside the box. Has two players on him. It's taken away. Morris with the ball trying to get a shot off. And it will be cleared out by number 13, Dylan Duffinoff. 
but Ryan comes over to intercept the pass and it's Ryan on the outside with the ball sends it back has it knocked away off the head of Collins onto the feet of Ratliff Ratliff sends it up quickly to the outside march up, march and up. it is Giroux it will be uh, Eli Giroux with the throw in here for Shazee going down the line trying to find Ryan pushes it back to Giroux into the uh, middle of the field is controlled by Collins Collins taken down and it'll be a foul on Beatman down and a foul on uh, Cordell Costin so we have 35-13 to go here in the second half. We have no score here at the George Brenler Field here between Shazy and Beatman Town. And the JV level, what happens if, if they were to go to overtime? Two tens? Or is it a sudden death? Uh, I believe it's two overtimes. and uh, They have to play it through. They have to play it through, and if there's no score over two overtimes, then the game ends as a tie. Okay. And now we have a lot of game left, and not that we're going to be going there, but it's something you do think about with no score in the game right now. And it's Ratliff. And uh, off camera at halftime, we were talking, Frank, and you were commenting how much better Beaton Town's doing this time than the first time we played them. Uh, Beaton Town's uh, possessed the ball very, very well this game, and uh, they haven't really forced anything or... Uh, they've recovered from their mistakes very well, uh, which is not something that they were doing earlier in the season. So it's always good to see a team uh, progress mechanically on the field. And that's what you hope happens as the season progresses and when you see that type of improvement. And uh, th this is uh, definitely a much tougher game than I think what the Eagles were expecting from what they had their way of Beatman down and Beatman down. Oh, absolutely. I think it was a 5-1 game. Uh, and this game has been played very well by both sides and honestly I can say the, the play has been even for the most part and even at times uh, Beekman Towns probably held the advantage in play as we can see right here they're at the doorstep uh, they're at the doorstep again yeah so uh, good job by coach Eric Bell here with his Beekman Town squad and the ball is uh, and it's a very entertaining game here for the fans that are here and we got a decent fan base for a JV game on a Friday uh, afternoon and it is Collins. He'll chip it up trying to find uh, Connor Morris. Morris will break three with his defense. He gets the shot off, but it goes off the end line. But a good job defensively. It was uh, number six. Darren Nephew stayed right with him. And Morris couldn't get the shot off that he wanted on some good defensive uh, effort by uh, Darren Nephew. So we have 33.08 to go here left in the game. And again, no score here at the George Brenner Field on just a beautiful 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 night and uh, we have uh, Bryce Lee coming into the game and uh, coming out of the game and he got hurt on that play it was a nephew guarding uh, Connor Morris and the ball is chipped up it goes off of the head of uh, Collins Collins switches fields goes to the far side trying to find Ryan Ryan will battle Ashline. Ryan and Ashline battling for the ball. And Ashline turns it on the inside, gets it up down the line, but out of bounds. So good job by Ryan and uh, Ashline with that battle on the far sideline. Throwing comes in up over to Nora Moak. <coughs> Moak, long shot. It will go wide. So we have a uh, goal kick here for Beatman Town with 32 minutes to go here in the first half we again have no score and it will be Wilson taking the kick here for Beatman Town and there's the kick off the head of Harvey onto the head of Moak to the uh, the body of Morris Connor Morris Morris pushing it up to the open space Collins Trying to find Parent. Parent has some outside space. We'll look to try to serve it. Good hustle by number 15. And that ball goes on the top. A good hustle by Connor Ashline. And we have a goal kick substitution coming in here. And we have Josh McCauley. And there it goes off to midfield. It went off of the head of Mabry. So for the far side and Mr. Giroux, that would be Eli Giroux called for the infraction. So we have an opportunity here for Beatman Town. It's 
a free kick. It's out there, but it's a nice set play. And anytime you get a set play, you like to have that. And the uh, Eagles of Beatman Town will take the kick. Here it comes. Nice kick inside the box. And it lands, and you got to be careful. And it will be a goal kick. So we have Hunter Thomas coming into the game. Coming out of the game is Michael Parent. Hunter Thomas is into the game here for Shea Z. And there's the kick by Moak to midfield. And it is uh, McCulley. Josh McCulley trying to get it to somebody, but open field McAfee is there as well as Coe. He sends it up. And it is McCulley. McCulley gets by one defense player. He gets by a second one. He gets by Duffina. McCulley will send it across. And it is saved. So we have a throw in for Shay Z. In Mo Cajun, we're off about five pounds this game. Coach Trombley has him doing everything, taking the kicks, taking the throw ins. But that's what you expect from your upperclassmen at the JV level. And he'll take the, uh, oh, it is a corner kick. Okay, I thought it was going to be a throw in, but it did go off the end line. So Moke will take the corner kick here. He's trying to bend it in. Thomas was there. And it will be out on red, so another corner kick. Dylan spots, let's go! Another corner kick. We have Bradley, stay with him. Moat taking the kick here again. Stay with him. With 28.54 to go. There's the shot. And nice play by Wilson. That thing was bending upper corner. Nice shot by Moak. He chips it back up. Collins trying to get his head on it. And it's cleared out by the defense of Beatman Town. And they're trying to get a transition here. And Drew chips it up high in the air. Thomas trying to control for Shay Z, but back there is Kowalowski. Kowalowski controls, gets it onto the feet of Reagan. Reagan with the ball, controlling, pushing it back. But it is McCauley trying to get it, but Cole has it. He sends it up over to Reagan. Reagan with the ball, has some space. We'll split one defender, trying to get by the second defender. It's Reagan on the near sideline. Reagan working his way down. He's being guarded by Harvey. Reagan gets by Harvey. It's still Reagan with the ball. Harvey now controlling. It is Harvey trying to clear it out. Does a nice job. McAfee coming to it, but it works its way off the end line or the edge or the sideline here. So we have Nephew coming in. He'll take the throw in. And Cole is coming out. There's the throw in. And it's inside the box, Cameron Doran gets it up over to uh, number five, McCauley. McCauley switching fields, and it goes off of Collins. Collins has Thomas right side. He has McCauley center of the field. And coming over to help out is Mabry, but good job by Collins. Now he sends it to the open space. Ryan hustling for the ball as well as Thomas. And it... Works its way off the line, so a throw in for Beatman Town. 27 0 and 3. 27 0 3 to go here in the second half. And Collins trying to get to it. It is Moak. And here comes Beatman Town on the transition. It is. And there's a foul. Moak trying to. And he's going to give him a card. Johnny Sachs will give a card. He took out Ratliff from behind. And Moke walking away. And I'm surprised that John Sachs didn't call him back over because as a player, you're supposed to go up to that official and take your medicine. And he walked away. So Johnny Sachs allowed that to happen. Moke feels he doesn't deserve the L card. It was done accidentally. I mean, no, he didn't purposely take him down, but anytime you take somebody down from behind, you got to call it's, it. You have to call it. So hopefully with uh, Mr. Moke, he's upset now, but if he watches this film, it's, it's just something that the officials have to do. It's obviously, it wasn't intentional, but it does happen in a game, and you got to call it. So it is uh, Cameron 
This is an opportunity here for Beatman Town, and you got to be careful. Number one, Reagan has it knocked away. Cameron Doran, and it's a throw-in, and it is Bill Bonville's on the near side, and it's Johnny Sachs on the far side. So with 26-18 to go. And it is Nephew. Nephew for the throw in here for Beatman Town with 26.09 to go here in the game. We have no score between Beatman Town and Shazy on the 13th of October. Ball head out to the middle of the box. This is a dangerous opportunity for Beatman Town. And there's a, a chance. And it is Shazy trying to play defense here. And Thomas, far sideline, trying to clear it out. And Johnny Sachs is giving out these yellow cards. And he gives a yellow Kevin Mayberry. So John Sachs is starting to hand out yellow cards like it's Halloween candy. We are in October. <laughs> I didn't see that one though, did you? Uh, I definitely saw a foul there, but I'm there not, was definitely a foul. I'm not sure about the card. Yeah, I question that. Coach wants an explanation. It'll be interesting to see what Sachs, John Sachs has to say here. Well, there's a lot that goes on in the field that we don't hear. So it's possible that part of the card had to do with something that was said rather than what happened physically. Yeah, that could very well be too. Yeah, good point. So, it could have been words after the foul was called. Correct. Yeah. yeah, sometimes that does happen. But they're young men and they'll, they'll learn. You know, every game's a learning experience. As a coach, you hate to see your players get yellow cards. And uh, you had Troy Boris checking into the game. Coe's checked into the game. Of course, you have uh, Mabry with the yellow card, and coming off right now is Ratliff. So 25-41 to go. And it is LaPointe. Big booming kick. Lands into Beaton Town territory. Nephew does a nice job controlling the pass, pass getting it up over to Reagan. And Drew comes up to defend, as well as LaPointe. And Jerus chips it up, goes over to Thomas's foot. Thomas, working his way to the outside, cannot keep it in play. So it's a throw in here for Beatman Town on the far sideline. And so with 25 minutes to go here left in the game, we still have no score. Ball controlled by Beatman Town. So if you're Coach Eric Bell, you got to really like what you've seen here in Shay Z from what he saw the first time, that's for sure. So far, uh, I think you should be happy with how much pressure Beekman Town's been uh, been getting. Oh, nice play, Ryan, trying to get it up over to McCauley. Didn't mean to cut you off there. No, it's quite all right. They've definitely had their chances this game, and uh, it's always good to see your your guys get some chances and uh, not just get stuck in your whole end for a long period of time. The play's been back and forth. Uh, as a coach, I, th I think he's got to be pretty happy with how his guys are playing so far. Absolutely. And it is Giroux with the ball. Has it knocked away by Kowalowski. Kowalowski will work his way down. Back there for Shazy is uh, Cam Giroux. Giroux takes it to the outside. Gets it onto the foot of Thomas. Thomas now sends it up trying to find Collins. And it's controlled by Beatman Town. And Collins with the ball. Now into the offensive zone. Collins sending it through. Trying to find McCauley. McCauley going after the ball defensively. Beatman Towns there pushes it back over to McAfee. McAfee sends it to the center of the field, but it is kicked out by Costin toward midfield, just short of midfield. And it's Drew over to LaPointe. Back there is Thomas. Thomas with the ball. Has some space. Thomas gets by one defender. Good job defensively from Beatman Town. And it's now picked up by Reagan. Want to get the number for that young player over there. Far side, it's number seven, Marion. Ball at midfield. And uh, Boris just checking to the game, sends it up. And LaPointe doing a nice job on the far sideline, working his way up, gets it up over to Thomas. Thomas and LaPointe battling for the ball, but so is an Ash line. Goes off of Ash line. So we have Mabry back into the game as well as Ratliff. And we have Connor Morris in for... Shay Z and Ryan coming off here. And Morris going in, coming off for Beaton Town is Bryce Lee as well as Keller Kalilowski. So the point with the throw in. And hustling back there. 
defensively is beaten down in a smart play by a Kowalowski to keep it from going off the end line. So a lot of substitutions going on here. So we have Moak back into the game. We have Parent into the game. And for the first time, we have Riley Roberts into the game. Twenty-two fifty-eight to go. And it looks like uh, Nathan Trombley will be checking into the game. Thomas comes out of the game, did some nice nice uh, minutes down there for him. Here comes the throw in, headed by Collins, and it will be a uh, goal kick here for Beatman Town. And now checking into the game is Nathan Trombley coming out of the game. It looks to be McAfee. And Brian McAfee coming out of the game. And there's a big booming kick by Nicholas Wilson. Nice strong foot, and it's Roberts gives it up over to Collins, pushes it back. Riley Roberts trying to keep it in. He pushes it up to the end line, and he can't get to it. It goes off the end line. So we have a goal kick here for Beatman Town. And it's Parent. Parent battling for the ball. Picked up by Reagan. Reagan goes to the outside to Boris. Boris chips it up onto the feet of Marion. Has it knocked away to midfield. Picked up by Mabry. Mabry sends it up and it is Giroux. It is Eli Giroux. Far sideline. Off of uh, Giroux. So it'll be a throw in. It's Marion. He gives up the, uh, the pass up over to the feet of Ratliff. Ratliff with the ball outside, pushes it back. Riley Roberts is there, but it's back over to Ratliff. Collins does a nice job knocking it away. And Giroux disrupts the play. And it's picked up by Trombley. Trombley. And Coe's there for Beatman Town. And it is Trombley pushing it out. Nice short pass up over to Connor Morris. Morris with the ball. Has the ball knocked away. Here comes Beatman Town. Off of Moat. Nice play by LaPointe. Chipping it back up. Morris trying to control. But a good job by number three, Mabry. Mabry comes to the near side over to Coe. Coe has it knocked away by Parent. Parent with the ball. It's Parent trying to control. Duffina is there. Duffina comes to the near side over to Coe. Sends it up onto the feet of Ratliff. Ratliff pushing it up over to uh, Reagan. Reagan back to Ratliff. Ratliff looking to get a shot off. Oh, here comes an opportunity for Beatman Town. Chase is going to get there defensively. And uh, they don't get the shot off. And that was an opportunity for Reagan, but he didn't pull the trigger. Still has the ball. Now comes up over to Mabry. Mabry will get the shot off. And that's what they needed to do. And uh, with that sun in your eyes, Peyton did a good job making the save, but there was a rebound, and Coe should have been charging the net. And uh, so we have 19.52 to go, no score. Ball at midfield. And uh, if this game goes to overtime, the varsity game could start a little later than anticipated. And it's Parent chipping it up off of the head of McCauley. McCauley hustling back there, but so isn't 15 Nash line. McCauley going back there, coming off his line is... Nicholas Wilson, he has a good booming kick, and there it is. Just just does a nice job with that kick every time he gets a chance in the Shazy territory. Back to Parent, picked up by Moak, but a good job by number 10, Ratliff. Ratliff and Moak pushes it back to Coe. Goes by Boris, and it'll be picked up by Marion. Marion far side being challenged by Giroux. Johnny Sack says it is white ball off of uh, Beatman Town. So we have 18.56 to go here on the 13th of October, 2013. No score here at the George Brenner Field. And here comes Beatman Town. The more this game goes on, uh, Frank, I feel like we're in the middle of summer right now. Yeah, I completely agree with you. And the more the more we watch this game, the more I think one goal might be the winner here today. Uh, I think you might be right. If there's a goal. If there's a goal. 
And quite frankly, I can't tell you who's going to get it because they've been evenly matched game here today. Each team has had an equal amount of chances. It's just going to be who gets that one big finish, you know? I mean, there a lot of games you can sit up here and you can see the momentum and you can see that it's just a matter of time for a team's going to – but you don't get that feeling in this game. It could go either way. No, nope. Today it could be somebody who uh, – you know, it doesn't normally score a goal. It could just be one of those goals that uh, you're in the right spot at the right time. Yeah, and that's always nice to see when you get somebody that doesn't normally score or get a goal like that. And uh, we'll see if that happens here here today. It's Roberts and uh, Mabry battling for that ball. And it goes off of Roberts. Any concern now? So we have 17.46 to go here left in the game. I say in the game, a regulation, because uh, if there's no score, we will work in just a couple overtimes. So if we go into overtime, that's overtime for you and I. Correct. That would be correct, yes. <laughs> and it is Giroux controlling, chipping up, trying to find Morris. Connor Morris has it knocked away. Here's Coe. And now, as you look at Peyton over there, he comes off that line way too much when the, he's not in the play. And you get killed on a, uh, a long shot when you aren't paying attention like that. So I'm hoping he actually watches this film. And like, like where he is right now, that's fine. But there are times you got to get back on your line so you can control your home front. And uh, he just looked out of position there a couple times. And see, like right now, if they got that shot off, it's a done deal. So he's got to be playing his line. But hopefully he'll watch this and he'll learn from it. And now, and to his credit, he hasn't given up a goal yet. But I've called a lot of these games over the years, and I have one I can pick out in particular was that the girls were playing in Cortland, the semifinals in the States. And uh, this team, the goalie, I mean, the goalie was coming out beyond the 18. And I said, before this game is done, it's just a matter of time. And at the time, it was a young Megan Reynolds, eighth grade Megan Reynolds, hit a ball from about 40 yards, a little win related. And that goalie was scampering backwards, and it found the back of the net. Yeah, a lot of times those uh, mental mistakes hurt you a lot more than the physical ones. Yeah, absolutely. So the ball uh, headed up, and it is nice play. Monocali pushes it back over to Collins. Collins threw it. Here's Morris, and this is a foot race. And Morris getting the shot off. He hits the post again. The goalie comes out, and the Beatman Town Eagles dodge another bullet. I would have put my mortgage on that one that Morris would have finished that. And uh, there's a long shot. And Connor Morris has now, let me see here. If you're on this side, he has both outside posts. And uh, so my guess is the next opportunity, I'm not going to say crossbar, he's going to find the middle of the net. He's going to split those posts. But... Uh, Morris has been working hard the whole game, and he's been limited in the number of opportunities. And the two chances he's had, he's the goalpost, let's put it this way, has not been his friend so far today. And it was a good offensive run by Shay Z. And it is Collins pushing up, trying to find Morris. And he's got McCulley on the outside. And he took that shot. And quite frankly, he had uh, McCauley on the far side. He should have slipped that ball through that defense. Yep. McCauley could have broke in. And I think it's just more frustration on uh, Morris just turning around and taking that shot. So we have 14.43 to go here in the second half. And there's the kick by Wilson. And uh, Mabry sends it up to midfield. Onto the foot just past Reagan. And it's... Um, Cam Drew comes to the near side, picked up by Coe. Coe going down the sideline here. And it's sent up over to uh, Reagan back trying to find Coe. But it is Nathan Trombley there for Shay Z. Trombley, Nathan Trombley battling Coe. And it's a throw in and Bonville. And the officials are doing a very good job here today, too. Yeah, I thought the officials have called it pretty evenly both ways. and uh, They're letting them they're, play. They're letting the guys play physical, but they're not you know, letting uh, anything that's completely illegal go. Right. But uh, they're, they're definitely letting them play physical, which at this level is, uh, you is, should be. is quite fine, especially when both teams uh, have physical players. Right, right. And uh, <laughs> Coach Trombley talking to Bonville down there. And Bondo saw the push. He'll call it. So we have a, uh, a kick here for Beatman Town. 
with 13.28 to go. And there's the kick. Nice play by Drew, setting it up is Harvey with the ball. Harvey cuts it to the inside, outside over to McAfee. McAfee, he's got McCauley in front of him. He's got Morris in front of him. He tried to chip it up over Morris with the ball, pushes it back up at the Collins. Collins chipping it up, and here comes uh, 16, Nathan Trombley, just outside the box being guarded by Cole. He'll push it back, nice push back over to Harvey. Harvey will chip it up over to Moak. Moak with the ball. Going to the outside. Moak to the outside. She wants to serve it. Nice play by Coe. Coe battled him. And it is going to be a goal, a corner kick here for Shay Z as it went off the uh, the foot of Costin. So we have 12.33 to go. We still don't have a score here. Shay Z's had the best opportunities on two Morris, Connor Morris tries. And uh, he's hit both outside posts. And we still have a 0 0 score. Red, clear away here. So we have Cole Harvey will take the kick here for Shea Z, the corner kick that is. Sends it across and a nice head out. And Cameron Doran heads it up trying to find uh, Collins, but it's controlled by Beatman Town. And it is uh, Cameron Doran up over to. Uh, Cade Collins, but the ball is back into uh, the feet of Beatman Town. Back on the feet of Beatman Town, controlled by Reagan. Reagan has some space. See, again, you got, look where the goalie is. He's too far out right now. He can get burnt here. And uh, Drew will be a corner kick here for Beatman Town. But again, Peyton Hillborn was way, way out of position. And if, if Reagan could have got a shot off, there's probably a good chance that, that would have found the back of the net. So we have 11.23 to go here. And it will be Mabry taking the uh, corner kick here for Beatman Town. And if I'm a little more critical on the JVs than I am when I watch the varsity players, it's more because I know they're going to be watching this tape. So it's more of a learning lesson I'm trying to give at the same time. I'm sure they can get a lot of good detail from this fantastic camera work from it's, this. Uh, oh yeah, the camera work is, uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I'm, I'm guessing it's probably award winning camera work here. It, it could be. It, it could be. be an AP award coming for this one <laughs> here. And, uh, but I, you know, it's just, uh, it's good for the kids to have this game on film and they can analyze it and some may agree with me or may not agree with me, but just trying to give some pointers to them out there. And it's sent up over to uh, number five here, McCauley. McCauley now working his way on the inside, some good speed. McCauley goes down, no call, probably good no call actually. And it's Moak with the ball. He gets it up over to Collins. Now Moak, no, it goes back to Collins. And it is uh, Harvey getting it up over to Trombley. And Trombley goes down again. And it is Moak with the ball. Pushes it up to the open space, nobody there for Shay Z. It goes on to the foot of Marion. Marion gets it on to Reagan. And if he just gets that shot off, this is dangerous. And hit the defense. But again, do you see what I see up here? Yeah, you see the same thing, right? He's too far off that line. They pop it up, it's going to go over his head. And uh, Duff and I are checking into the game. Coming out of the game is. Is that nine or eight? It is number nine. Bryce Lee, you got those young eyes there, Frank. I have reading glasses, but I might need some distance glasses too. I kind of pick that up. <laughs> and there's a, a, a foul on Duffina. So we have nine, under 10 minutes to go here. We still have no score. And so I guess if you're a Vegas odds makers, will we see a score before this first, before the, the uh, regulation game is done here? Uh, I'm guessing with the way it's pushing, uh, I honestly, I can't say. Oh, he's going political. And yeah, Frank Frank Cody is on the fence on this one. I would say the edge has been favoring Shazy the last 10 minutes. I would say this half, uh, Shazy's had the better of the opportunities. Beacon Town had one really good opportunity that they couldn't capitalize on. Uh, they couldn't get a shot, a shot on net with it. And it seems like Shazy's just getting more shots this half and more pressure up front. Well, the ball's at midfield. And Harvey has it knocked away. This is dangerous. Here's Beatmantown. And there's Giroux. There's the shot. 
Oh, what a save by Peyton Hilborn. Wow, Coach Trombley smiling down there. It was, oh, wow. So are you, are you the goalie coach? Do you work with him? Well, I, I take responsibility for anything uh, that happens that's good. <laughs> and anything that happens that uh, is, is less than good, I, I normally pass on to Coach Trombley. Well, he is the leader of the team, right? That's correct. That's, that's correct. just the way it goes. That's correct. Yeah, you know. The... Uh, he wants to wear the head honcho hat, then he's got to pay the price for that head honcho hat. <laughs> Here comes Collins. Collins chipping it up. Morris gives it up over to uh, McCulley. McCulley chipping it up. Trombley trying to get the shot off. Oh, he's right there, but the ball was too high in the air. He couldn't get the uh, pressure on the shot or the speed on the shot that he wanted, and Wilson was there. Yep, again, we see they're, they're getting opportunities, they're getting that push forward, and, and it's just going to be, uh, can one team finish? Yeah. I, I, I really do think whichever team finishes first is, is going to end up the winner today. Well, with 7.23 to go in regulation, I would say you're probably right as far as regulation goes. I would even say in overtime, too. Yeah. yeah. If, if there is a score. But regardless, however this game turns out, the uh, coach Eric Bell has got to be very, very pleased with what he's seen here this afternoon uh, with his uh, his JV squad here from Beatmantown. And it's Cade Collins. He's chipping it up on the far side. It is McCauley trying to keep it in. McCauley does a nice job keeping it in. Nice spin move, but a good defensive player. And it is uh, McAfee trying to go. Oh, nice play by Parent with the slide tackle. Morris. A shot outside his foot and it goes right harmlessly into the hands of Nicholas Wilson and there's the uh, the punt Moak does a nice job heading it back into the offensive zone Trombley trying to get there but Coe has it Coe comes to the near side over to Ratliff Ratliff Nicholas Ratliff with the ball has it knocked away by Harvey Cole Harvey trying to find a nice play stepping up defensively was Costin. Costin sending it up, and it is uh, Cam Drew has it taken away, and it's Eli Drew coming to help out. And nice play by Moak. Moak holding his ground there, doing a good job in the uh, sweeper position, and knocks it into the offensive zone. Morris trying to get there. It comes out to the near sideline, and it is nice play by Cole keeping it in. And Harvey switching fields. Trying to find McAfee, but it goes. Oh, nice try by McCauley. Trying to get by the defensive player. Cleared up to midfield onto the feet of Ratliff. Ratliff and Parent battling for the ball. One by Rat or uh, Parent gets it up over to Cade Collins. Near side, Cole doing a good job for Beatman Town. A little give and go. Tried. Parent with the ball. Gives it up to the near side here to Nathan Trombley. Trombley working his way down. Now gives it up over to Connor Morris. Morris switching fields, nice job over to McAfee. McAfee trying to get a shot off. And McAfee will let it, he keeps it in. And it's got co a corner kick, goes off of Duffina and McAfee took a little shot to the ankle. So we have five minutes here to go. Opportunity for the Shazy Eagles, no score. And it is Cole Harvey will go in uh, all the way up, take the corner kick here. He has Cade Collins in from the defensive end. 24 wide. Or should say from the midfield, it's Collins. Trombley was on that field about 20 yards. Collins, or Harvey goes off of the head of Kalilowski. And nice play by Parent. And I didn't see that foul. I got two guys running hard. No, I saw a, a pretty well played 50-50 ball there going shoulder to shoulder. Yeah, yeah, Coach Bell's asking that question. I guess we heard too. And Johnny Sachs yells it was an elbow. And oh, there's a nice shot by Moak. But nice job. Wilson doesn't panic at all. Let's the ball come to him. Cradles it right in. And I'm not here to diss the referees. They do a heck of a job down there. Just sometimes you just question what they're thinking. Yeah, well, so they're, they're seeing it in real time, and it's not like they have instant replay like the, the pros anymore. So. And it is uh, 
Nice play by Hilborn. But uh, when Johnny Sachs calls over and says it's an elbow, well, you know, we don't see that up here. And uh, so it's nice that they give an explanation. Right. And I think our refs do a pretty good job. They do a that. great job. I mean, all these guys do. We're very fortunate to have them. And it's Cade Collins coming up. I think uh, Bonville and Johnny Sachs have done a great job here today. So we have 3.06 to go. Nice job, McAfee, battling for that ball. Red throwing. So, you know, uh, Frank, I think we got this overtime thing going to be happening here. It could be happening. I think what you're going to see as the game progresses, uh, teams are going to get a little bit more panicky trying to rush to get that goal. And, uh, you know, we'll see if people start making mistakes because of that uh, that panic, that, that will to, to push things a little bit faster than they need to be pushed to try and score a goal. You think we'll see the fatigue factor at all? Yeah, I think we will. I don't yeah. think... Uh, I know they're young and yeah. they're, they're fast, but... They're human, and at some point you got to tire. Yeah, a lot of these JV boys, they don't uh, generally get into games where there's two overtimes. So uh, I think as the game goes on, especially Beekman Town, I believe they only have two or three subs. There's two of them. So they only have 13 players. So we're under, uh, well, we're approaching the two-minute mark is what we're approaching. So uh, this game has overtime written all over it. Uh, barring something happening here relatively quick. And it is controlled by Beatman Town and Reagan's had a great game for them and here comes Coco's had a good game. I mean Beatman Town's just played very, very well. So hasn't Shay Z. It's just been a a good soccer team from two very good programs. Yeah, I think uh, not only should the coaches be happy with how the boys have played, but the fans are, are getting a pretty well-played JV match to watch. And, yeah. Uh, it's not like they're coming to, to a game and watching two teams that just aren't playing well. Both teams are, are doing what they need to do and, uh, you know, putting on a nice little show here. And Sean Blee trying to find Morris. And it is Ashline has it taken away by Morris. Morris battling. Tron Blee comes over to help out. Parent calls it over to Collins. Minute seven to go. He switches trying to find McAfee. Goes off the head of Duffina. And Duffina's had a good game here for Beatman Town also. A lot of these players I've called and they've done good things out there for both teams. And McAfee sends it up. And Wilson is there. 49 seconds to go. And that was exactly the type of play I was talking about where teams panic, where McAfee had some time there and forced the ball uh, into the box a little early before things had uh, developed. And it's Giroux sending it up over to McAfee. Cleared out by Duffina. And Moat will send it up off the head of Costin. And... Drew sending it up over to McAfee. McAfee trying to keep it in. So we have a throw in. So 15 seconds to go. I think it's fair to say we're going into overtime here in Shea Z. And regulation has come to an end here. Oh, we're playing sudden death. Good job, officials. Good job. So, Eric, you guys are playing sudden death? <laughs> Costin. Yeah. Uh, Cordell Costin. He, he looks like he knew you. Okay, I'm gonna. I'll be able to have him go. 
Ten minutes, yes, ten minutes. Hopefully just cut off. Yeah, no more than that. We want no more than that. It's been a great game. What a great game. Yeah, oh yeah. It doesn't have to be a hard foul to get a yellow card. Just hold it on. Well, yeah, was, it, was it worse or what was it? No, it was just, he just was totally kidding. I warned him the first time. Oh. It was the same number three. Huh? No, I've had him before. Huh? Oh, yeah. Well, it's not like he didn't want him. I can keep it on the field if you can't get it. You're going to go here. Clock on the field, gentlemen. Be red ball. John, you don't, you don't the field? Yeah. Okay. We'll yell it out. Okay, that's fine. I think both. I think they, it's. Is it normally sudden death, or is it you just agree to it this time? Always. It's always sudden death. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And we're here to start the overtime, and uh, contrary to what we were thinking, Frank, it's uh, sudden death. Yeah. First goal is over with. Yeah, we'll see who uh, who's able to put one away here. Or they're playing two 10-minute overtimes, one sudden death, or both sudden death. Yeah, and uh, if there's no score, like you say, it'll be a tie. But uh, I guess it's just the girls' program that have to play two 10s, is what the coaches were saying down below. So it's Beatman Town uh, going uh, from uh, right to left. And now what well, down the sun probably won't be a factor now into the goalie's eyes. And it is uh, Cole had a, has, who's been having a good game for Beatman Town with the ball. Gives it up over to Reagan. Beatman Town deep into Shazy territory. Collins sends it up. And nice play by Giroux. Getting, jumping in front of Marion and Beatman Town trying to control and the ball cleared up Johnny Sachs looks like he's calling it down by the minute so there's nine minutes the uh, score clock is being kept on the field they're trying to work on the scoreboard right now and uh, you got Parent goes up now it's Ryan Ryan looking to send it across trying to find uh, Macaulay, but it's picked up by Marion up to midfield on to the, uh, the, to the feet of Kowalowski. He switches fields all the way over to Coe. Coe into Shazy territory. We're in sudden death here, the first sudden death overtime. Ten minutes off his line is Hillborn. Hillborn does a nice job, catches it and controls. He punts it up just short of midfield. And it is controlled by the uh, Eagles. It is Mabry. Pushed back onto the foot of uh, Marion. Off of the head of Moak. And it is knocked out by Hillborn. And we have a uh, throw in here for Beatman Town. It is number seven, uh, Marion. Brantley Marion with the throw in. And actually, it looks like he's going to give it up to uh, Nephew. Come on, Let's go now. Come on, Rylan. He does. Nephew's back. Now he's going inside toward the net. Nephew with the throw in. Knocked out. Nice play by Giroux. And it's picked up by Mabry. He chips it up. Michael Parent stepping up. It's Parent with the ball. He calls for it. Sending it up. And it's McCauley. McCauley with some nice speed will look to cut it in. It's McCauley taking it in, pushing it out over to Ryan. Ryan pushes it back. Nice play by Ryan up over to McCauley. McCauley sends it across. He'll be there for Shay Z. And that's probably not a bad opportunity for uh, McCauley to give up a shot from that distance. No, I think at this point, uh, if somebody can put a shot on net, they kind of have to put it on net and see what happens. And uh, maybe a goalie gives up a rebound and somebody finishes the play, you know? 
Yeah, well, he went across. There were like two or three defensive players just standing there. So, but a good effort, though. Good movement bringing the ball down. And there's the kick by Wilson. And it goes over the head of everyone, but now headed by Marion onto the uh, the feet of Kowalowski. Picked up by Coe. Coe at midfield. Goes off of Parent. Picked up by Ryan. Ryan sending it up. Nice play by Ryan. Getting up over to McCauley. McCauley cutting it to the inside. McCauley, but coming off the line is Wilson. Right idea by McCauley, but Wilson comes off the line as it went. Just a little too far ahead of McCauley, and it's now punted toward midfield. Off to the head of Regan, back up to Coe. Coe has it knocked away. It's Collins goes to the outside of McAfee. And Duffinaw does a nice job. Oh, he overruns it right there. Collins with the ball. Sending it up. Goes on to the feet of Costin. Costin to midfield. Parent rips it off of the Beatman Town player. And that was number 10, Ratliff. And Ryan sends it, switches fields all the way back up over to Harvey. Harvey pushes it up trying to find McAfee. McAfee comes back over to Parent. Parent controlling. Chips it up. And it goes, and here comes uh, McCauley, but it goes, it was headed by a nephew over to Wilson. And if a player heads the ball back to the goalie, the goalie can catch it. He just can't kick it back to the goalie. Drew does a nice job holding his ground. And a nice job running through the play was Mabry. And it is kicked out by Moak to McAfee. McAfee chips it up, but Duffina is there for Beatman Town. And it is... We had a handball, it looks like. So a nice opportunity here for Beatman Town. Nice opportunity here for the, uh, the Eagles of Beatman Town. Bonville holding the ground. Kevin, near side! Kevin, near side! And it looks like Mabry will take the kick here for Beatman Town. Mabry chips it in. This is dangerous. And it goes off the head of uh, Marion. Eagle! 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 Sir! And they're calling a goal kick. Johnny Sachs says corner. The officials discuss it. Johnny Sachs says nope. Now they change again. So it looks like a goal kick. Let it go. Let it go. How much time, Johnny Sachs? Four and a half. Four and a half minutes. Three and a half from Johnny Sachs. As the time is being on the field, they got the clock fixed, so if it goes to another overtime, I'm sure they'll switch it. And Beatman Town controlling. Pushed up over to Marion. Has it knocked away by Giroux. Maybe with the ball, it is picked up by McCauley over to Costin or uh, Cade Collins. Turn now onto the foot of Marion for Beatman Town, being guarded by uh, Eli Giroux. And nice play by Harvey. And Coe sends it right back, gets by uh, Moak, and it is Giroux sending it to midfield, picked up by Morris. Connor Morris. Giving up to Collins. Collins knocks it off of Mabry. Picked up by Cole. But Collins does a nice job. Has it knocked away. McAfee pushes it back to Harvey. Harvey chips it up. Trying to find Morris. And cleared up by number six, Nephew. Back to midfield. Controlled by Cole. Cole loses it up over to Parent. Parent gives it up to Collins. Collins booms it up. Going back there is Morris. But so is not Duffin out there. Morris and Duffin are battling for the ball. And it's a push on Morris. So it's a red kick here deep in their territory. <laughs> Duffin uh, chipping it up. And Collins. Collins pushing it up to the outside, trying to find McAfee, but Duffin is there. He sends it up over to Coe. 
Cole with the ball. Nobody there for Beatman Town. Harvey will send it to the middle of the field, but it's knocked, it knocked down by Marion. Marion gives it up to Costin. Parent with the ball comes to the near side. Ryan. Corey Ryan with the ball. Now he'll cut it toward the corner. It's Ryan. Ryan sending it up, trying to find uh, McCulley. Back to Ryan. Over to McCulley. McCulley pushes it back to Parent. Parent. Parent probably should have taken that shot. It's Ryan. Ryan sending it across, and nice try by Corey Ryan, but Michael Parent had a wide open shot. I think he should have taken care of that opportunity. Yeah, again, in a game like this, it's close. If you get that open shot, you gotta, you got to take it and put it on frame, and well, uh, you never know what's going to happen. Well, Michael's got a hard shot. That's the thing. Yeah, and especially it, if you have the leg to reach the net from that distance. And he was 22 yards out. That's not bad. No. Well, here we go. This is dangerous. You got the goalie out of the net again. And... Uh, Oh, what a play by Moak to give his body up for that one deep inside. So uh, just a wonderful job by Noah Moak on that one. As this first overtime is winding down here, probably under two minutes. 30 seconds. Johnny Sachs must have heard me up here. 30 seconds to go. And here goes Reagan, 20 seconds. And Hilborn is there. And it was a nice uh, cross by uh, by Reagan. Ten, nine, Ten seconds eight, to go. Seven, six, Midfield. Five, so we will go to a second 10-minute sudden death overtime uh, as we still have no score here at the George Brenner Field. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Cody says we are rolling for the second overtime. So the question that it asks, will it end a tie or will somebody win one nothing? So here we are, Vegas style. What's your percentages? Uh, my prediction is one nothing. Uh, whoever gets the first shot. Wow. The first strong pressure. Are you running for office in November somewhere? I could be. It must be. I mean, he won't go. Look for my signs. I, I'm going to say I think it will be a tie, but if there's a score, it'll be Shazy scoring is what I'm going to say, just based on the pressure that I've, I've seen over the end of the first half. And sent across, and uh, Shazy putting some pressure on. Nice play by Ryan getting it across. Now McCauley chips it up. Nathan Trombley is in there. And Parent battling for the ball, and there was a collision. And uh, you have number, it looks like Ratliff is down. And he ran into Imperance, a tough player, and there was a collision there. And it looks like he got the wind knocked out of himself. Talk to him, sir. Mark up. And I had the wrong person down. It was Duffano that took the uh, that brunt of that shot. There's the shot. It goes off of Morris inside the box. And Trombley trying to get a shot off. Or head by uh, Nathan Trombley. Morris trying to get his head on it. And Wilson's there. So again, some good pressure by Shay Z. But nothing to show for it on the scoreboard. Ball at midfield. Coe, who's had a great game, gets it up to Reagan. Reagan with the ball. Reagan looking to come through. Reagan looking to get a shot off. And nice play by Giroux. Cam Giroux. And not only does he do a nice play, he keeps it in play. But Cole looking to serve it. He sends it across, and Moke is there. He chips it out. And uh, looking to try to get the shot off here. Ball goes back. Mabry. Oh, he wanted it in the worst way. And that's about 10 rows back in the corn stocks. And Mabry would love to have that shot back. <laughs> Coach Bell was smiling down there with 9.37 to go. And I'm not sure what clock is right. So, Coach Bell, is that clock on the scoreboard right or your your clock? That's slow. That's slow, okay. Okay, so it's the the field officials are keeping the time here. A little, little left, yeah. Okay. I'll keep it on mine. And the official is keeping the uh, clock. They're having troubles with the scoreboard here. And that's a red trip. So Shay Z will be Moke, Noah Moke, taking the kick here for Shay Z. He chips it up. He's had a strong game here for the Eagles. 
and uh, it is Coe. Knocks it up over to Mabry. Mabry to the outside. Gets by Moak, and it's picked up by Marion. Marion chipping it up. Back there is uh, Cam Drew. Sends it out to his brother Eli to the far side. Eli Drew now gives it up over to uh, Mr. Collins. Collins with the ball at midfield. Push off White on that one. And we have the geese flying over. That's a nice sight. Just above the tree line. And it looks like Costin will take the kick here for Beatman Town. And there's the kick off the head of Collins. McCauley trying to get it out over to Ryan. Knocked back, and it's Giroux. White Holden, and Johnny Sachs is right there. He makes the call. So we have a we have an opportunity here for Beatman Town. Anytime you get these set plays, they can be dangerous. And it is Costin taking the kick here. Cordell Costin. Costin chipping it up. Goes off of Giroux. It must have went off the uh, Beatman Town player. I thought it went off of Giroux, but it was a deflection. So it will be a goal kick here for Shacey. Again, the clock is being kept by the official. We're in the second overtime here at the George Brenner Field. If you're just joining this telecast, we've had no score. Some grade A opportunities for Shazy. Um, but the uh, the post has been the best friend for the Beatman Town Eagles. And uh, it is sudden death. If there is a goal in overtime, it, it ends at that point. They played 0-0 uh, in the first sudden death overtime. And we're in the second one. And there's the shot. That's dangerous. Just over the net, but nice shot by Keenan Reagan. And uh, goes over the net. So goal kick here for Shay Z. And uh, Noah Moak will take the kick as he's been doing the whole game here for Beatman Down. Or for Shay Z. Goes to the outside trying to find Ryan. Ball headed by Marion. And now it's controlled by uh, Ashline. Or actually, it was controlled by uh, Ratliff. Ratliff looking to get a shot off here. He does. And it's the save by uh, Mr. Peyton Hillborn. So Hillborn has actually done a nice job in net there today for, for Shazy. Yeah, he's made the saves he's had to. He's been uh, caught out of position a few times, but you know it, just, it hasn't hurt him yet. Well, you use that word yet like it still could happen, right? Oh, here's an opportunity trying to split that defense. And, oh, what a play by uh, number eight. It looked like it looked like uh, Keller Kalawoski did a nice job. So it's a corner kick because I'll tell you, McCauley was breaking in there. And if he could have had one extra step, McCauley can finish. But a good defensive play here by Beatman Town. And it is a Harvey. We'll go over for Shazy, and he'll take it. It's Cole Harvey. He'll take the corner kick on the far side here for Shazy in the second sudden death overtime. Oh, nice feed inside the box, and uh, the ball was headed. Good job. Pushed out. Harvey will now chip it up, and Wilson is there. He'll work his way to the 18, trying to get a transition here. Big booming kick trying to find Reagan. And it is Giroux and Reagan. And Giroux wins that one. And that was uh, Eli Giroux winning that battle. Michael Parent trying to get it up to the far side over to Ryan. Ryan chipping it up. Uh, but it's controlled by number 14, uh, Costin. Now back to uh, Shazy. Ryan chipping it up. Trying to find McCauley. McCauley trying to get it by uh, Nephew. But Nephew does a good job defensively. And he... Uh, it goes off of Ryan, so a throw in here for Beatman Town. And uh, Dylan Duffinon going back into the game. He got hurt on that play, but it's nice to see the young man back on the field. Coming out of the game is uh, Bryce Lee. And there's a throw in by the uh, Beatman Town Eagles. So the Battle of the Eagles, there is no score here at the George Bremer Field. Morris with the ball, Connor Morris, just by one player. Morris gets the shot up, and it goes wide of the net. And uh, 
You had uh, under three, red, under three. four Shays E. Nathan Trombley is on the outside, but it's just too far ahead of him. So we'll have a goal kick here for uh, for Beatman Town. Wilson will take the kick. It's a short kick for him. Morris ripping the shot. Morris just goes wide of the net on a dive in Wilson. So we have. He called it. Stick with your original call, sir. Thank you. He's sticking with his call. Goal kick. Nick, don't rush. Ball up. Controlled by Trombley. Gives it up over to Pant or a Parent. Parent through the legs of Coe. Costin's there. Gets it on to the foot of Ratliff. Nice play by uh, Parent. Parent doing a nice job battling. Now up over to Morris. And it's cleared out by number 15, Ashline. So we have a throw in for Shay-Z. Again, the clock is being kept by the field official here in this second overtime. Moak gets the ball in. And we're going to have a... Uh, it was off. And there's the throw in. We're getting down. We think we're down to the final minute here. And Harvey, far side. And it is Cade Collins. Goal kick. I'm done. Sir, what time you got left? <laughs> Both coaches say they're done, but the official says 30 seconds. And that should have been a dangerous play. It is. Well, maybe 20 now. Probably down to 15. Bonville getting ready to call the 10 minute mark, 10 second mark. There it is. And this JV game is officially come to an end. We it is a tie in the books, zero to zero. Eighty minutes of regulation, two ten minute overtimes, a hundred minutes of soccer, and no score. And uh, Shazy's probably disappointed. Had better chances for Beatman Town. A far cry from the first time they played. Yeah, I think Beatman Town played very well. Uh, neither team could capitalize on their opportunities, but uh, I think they have to be happy with how they played today. It was a great performance uh, by Beatman Town. Eric Bell, the coach, should be very proud of his team. And uh, Shazy did a good job down there. They just missed some opportunities. It wasn't from lack of effort. Just sometimes that's just the way the game goes. So it was 0-0 here at the George Brenler Field on the 13th of August, 2013, between Shazy and Beatman Town, the Battle of the Eagles. I'm Joey Trombley. On the camera is Mr. Frank Cote in for Calvin